What's going on everybody? This is ODC That's Me and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the Marvel Legends Infinite Series X-Men Wave, also known as the Jubilee Wave, Build-A-Figure Wave. Uh, this is Strife. Uh, just picked him up today at Toys R Us. Um, the only other figures I had there was that shitty Wolverine, which I'll eventually review when I get the entire wave. I just saw him at the store, and I haven't gotten my wave yet, so I decided to pick him up. Uh, I already did the Cyclops um, review. I actually purchased him through a friend for, for cheap, so... Um, I got a good deal on that. So I got these two kind of ahead of time and I got the whole wave coming. So I will get to the rest of the wave when they get to me. Should be here next week. Um, so there we go. So here's Strife and uh, oh yeah, the only other figures that were there was Strife, that Wolverine, which I could care less about, and uh, Cyclops. <clears throat> So, with that being said, uh, let's take a look at the packaging here. Uh, pretty basic packaging. If you're used to the newer Marvel Legends, the Infinite Series packaging, it's pretty nice, pretty decent. Um, uh, I do like it. Nice window display right there. You kind of open it up on the sides. You can repackage the figure if you want. It's very easy to do. The, on the back, we have, uh, well, on the sides, we got two pictures of Wolverine, but and that's about it. Um, on the back, you got uh, Strife here. And kind of a uh, sinister s pose. I would like to see a Mr. Sinister sometime soon. Uh, a revamp. I mean, I do like the original figure, don't get me wrong, but since they're redoing everything, Hasbro's redoing pretty much every figure, I think it would be a nice, a good chance to, to do some of the, uh, uh, you know, some of the, the 90s characters. Um, uh, I know, I know Mr. Sinister uh, is, is a big part of. Uh, X-Men, it would be nice to get a, another Apocalypse, even though we've gotten two Apocalypses before from Toy Biz. I'm kind of just on a rant real quick. Um, it would be nice to get the, you know, just the, just give me some 90s X-Men. Give me a 90s X-Men wave, please. Um, but anyway, this figure is very nice. Um, I do like the packaging. And, and the other figures in the wave, as I just kind of rant and rave here, uh, is Strife, Magneto, uh, Marvel Now Cyclops, Marvel Now Storm, and uh, Wolverine there. And then you can build Jubilee. Uh, and if you're wondering what what uh, what Jubilee this is, this is technically the Vampire Jubilee. I don't know why they decided to go with Vampire Jubilee for this Build-A-Figure instead of the 90s version. Um, everybody pretty much well is well known um, of Jubilee being in her 90s getup over this over this uh, vampire get up. I don't know why they decided to go with that or who's making the decisions for Hasbro, but uh, you guys need to rethink whoever's making the decisions there because they're making bad decisions. Um, not to say, like, I don't have this figure yet. Not to say that it's not a nice figure because I hear nice things, but I don't know. I just... <laughs> doesn't make sense. Anyway, let's get this figure out of package. I'm not going to waste any more time talking, and we'll be right back with Strife Out. Okay, and we're back with Strife out of packaging. And I gotta say, after taking them out of package and, and having them in hand, that um, this is probably my favorite figure so far in the wave. Um, I mean, he's got a lot going on. He actually comes with an accessory. Um, he comes with the, um, I guess if you wanna call him the projectile, um, uh, <laughs> projectiles of Jubilee. Now, these are very similar, um, and I'm sure most of us collectors that are out there um, or people that are watching this video, um, they have seen this before. They this th these uh, projectiles came with uh, Marvel Girl, and uh, so we have seen these before. This one kind of sits in her hand like it's floating, and then this one is like the uh, the fist, the one that goes over the fist. It's like a punching projectile, but there is some glitter actually in there. Um, but I mean, there, yeah, there is some glitter, as you can see, some of it's in there. But I'll get to that when I, once I do the entire figure. She, he does come with the head of Jubilee, and I gotta say that this is actually a really nice head sculpt. Um, this does look a, like a teenager, and the really good thing about this head sculpt, I feel like, is that you can totally use this for a custom. I might actually pick up another Jubilee and, and um, send it to, uh, my good friend Stevie D for a 90s Jubilee custom. So, and if you're looking to do a custom, go to Stevie D. 
Stevie D, go, he's the man. Anyway, uh, he's working on a big project for me right now anyway, but I won't get into that. Let's go to the figure. Strife is really nice. He's based on the Hyperion body mold. Uh, he does come with this sword, which I feel like they could have done a little bit more, but I guess I'm happy to have at least an accessory with this figure because I feel like more and more figures come with less and less accessories nowadays. Um, he is a touch back heavy. See, I mean, he stands fine. As you can see, I don't really have a problem standing him. But he is a little bit back heavy because this cape is pretty dense and it's kind of heavy. But uh, he doesn't really have a problem standing. You just have to maneuver him properly and distribute his balance properly and then he stands just fine. So there you go. Um, like I said, he does come with his uh, one accessory, which is his sword. Let me just pop that out. And it's pretty much just a bronze slash uh, dark gold color. And it's all one color, and there's some sculpting going on with the sword here. So there you go. And it's pretty much the same on, on both sides there. Oh, no, it's not. It is different. So I apologize. It's a little bit different. There's a face on this side and no face on the other. So there's the sword. Um, let's get to the figure itself. Let me just pop his head off. Take a look at the head. I have noticed that there has been some problems with some people's head. That there's uh, the marbleized uh, problems here. I don't have the marbleized problems, but there's some, uh, looks like some edging going on. It makes the uh, head look almost serrated on this portion. It's probably just the mixing of the the plastic, but overall I think the uh, the paint detail on here is pretty decently done. The two shades of gray kind of differentiates throughout the uh, the head itself. I would have liked if, if this silver was a little bit darker just for strife, but I think it works still. Or actually they could have done a nice metallic uh, silver with this. That would have looked very nice I think. And uh, so that's just my opinion. But it does have nice yellow eyes as you can see there and that and you can definitely tell that this is uh, cable underneath or the clone of cable underneath there it would be nice since we already got this head sculpt if they actually just given us an, an updated cable figure maybe give us an x-force 5 pack that would be cool with an updated domino and stuff like that but um, and cannonball that would be awesome too uh, I am a big fan of cannonball he's one of my other favorite so I try to pop his head back on there we go. Um, but overall, as far as his articulation goes, his head can move side to side, and it does look, uh, it's a little bit loose on the peg, kind of got that gladiator syndrome. I hope this isn't going to be a, a, an occurrence with Hasbro, with these uh, loose bobbly heads where I gotta actually fix them myself with my own Dremel. But uh, hopefully that's not the problem. It's a little bit loose, but I mean, you can get his head to tilt side to side a little bit more so towards the right side his right uh, than his left uh, but it does look up about that far and it does look down a little bit past um, eye level um, and he can do a full 360 as you can see there his arm goes up about that far and goes down they cannot do a full well, I guess, you can, I guess you can if you count that a full 360 rotation, but you can't really do it. He's hindered by his shoulder pads here. He's got a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. He's got a wrist swivel and a wrist hinge. His gauntlets can also shift, but uh, that's technically the correct spot for it to be on the sides here. Uh, he does have a waist swivel, a nice ab crunch, which goes forward. Uh, does go back, and uh, you can uh, manipulate the cape so he does crunch backwards. Um, T-jointed hips which go out about that far into the splits. Um, they go forward and they go back. Upper thigh swivel. Double jointed knees. Um, I don't believe he has a boot swivel. So no boot swivel there. Yeah, there's no boot swivel. Uh, he does have an ankle hinge which goes forward and it does go back and he does have the ankle pivot which we all have grown to love. Um, I think this is a solid figure, and also his little tunic, I guess if you want to call it that, uh, his little crotch piece here does uh, move on its own. So it does not it does not hinder any leg movement, which is nice. Um, definitely glad to have this piece. It would have been, I, I thought it would have made more sense if I was uh, um, 
the creator of this wave and I was making the decisions distribu distribution wise as well um, as, as well as making the decisions for the, the characters themselves, I probably would have uh, decided to go with him as the build a figure and just put Jubilee in part of, as part of the wave. But I guess it doesn't really matter if, if you're looking at it, that aspect. I mean, you're still going to get the figures that you're getting. Um, but he's a much larger figure. Like I said, he's, a, he's based on Hyperion. I'll do a couple. Uh, I'll just do a quick um, uh, size comparison. I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. And pretty much this is um, Strife standing right up next to the Bucky Cat mold, which is also known as... Uh, Cyclops here. Uh, he's the other figure in the wave and as you can see I mean if you are pretty much similar or all familiar excuse me similar we're all familiar with the the uh, Hyperion body mold which this is based off of but uh, he is bigger than than most of the figures in the wave and all the figures in the wave pretty much. Um, as far as sculpt wise I will just uh, zoom in and give you kind of a look um, also to note, I wanted to put this in, that uh, his uh, whole shoulder pad and cape uh, connection is, you cannot remove it. It is sculpted on and actually glued onto him. Um, it does shift and give you a little bit of, of articulated manipulation here in the back, but you cannot take it off. I mean, I guess if you really wanted to, you could, but I wouldn't suggest doing that. Uh, like I said, uh, his spikes are protruding out. Kind of gives him that Legion of Doom look. <laughs> what a rush. But uh, his tunic is nice and sculpted. He's, his uh, his bi biceps and shoulders are sculpted with lines. It looks good. His hands are sculpted nicely. They really put some time and effort into doing this figure, and I think they did a good job. So definitely uh, two thumbs up on this Hasbro, and I would definitely, absolutely recommend you get this figure. A little bit of marbleization going on in the knee pads on both sides, but uh, and a little bit on the shins, just on mostly on this side. But I think that's kind of hit or miss is what you get. Um, one might have more marbleization going throughout the, the plastic than another figure. Um, this cape isn't as dark as it's coming off of on, on camera. I think it's just my lighting hitting it. Uh, it's kind of more of a, like a lighter Thor uh, style cape, I, I guess if you want to go that route. It's kind of got this uh, curved, windswept look. Um, but it does look good, and I think this is a really nice, solid figure. I think this is probably still, right now, I've only reviewed him and Cyclops, and I do actually like that Cyclops figure, even though it's pretty simplistic in design. Um, I think this is my favorite so far. So definitely two thumbs up for Strife. Uh, definitely a must-get here if you're an X-Men fan or just a Marvel Legends collector in general. Or if you just want a nice figure, this is also another route to go. Um, so that's pretty much it for Strife. Definitely would recommend this figure. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching as always, and I will see you guys on the flip side.